Welcome to Electron Line. Here's our first example of how to calculate the work done by a force. Let's assume that the force is defined as a function in x, and here it is, 2x squared plus 3x, and the units of force are newtons. Let's say we move, that, we move an object, or we do force over distance from x equals 1 to x equals 3, and again, the unit for distance would be meters. And if you combine those two units, the units of work are then newtons times meters, which are joules. So that's named after the French mathematician, physicist, scientist called Joule. Now we define the work then as being the integral of f dot dx. So we move the fours over a very small distance dx. We sum them all up from a to b. And in our particular case, that would be equal to the integral from x equals 1 to x equals 3 of the force, which is 2x squared plus 3x times dx. So we can integrate that and we get the following. 2x cubed over 3 plus 3x squared over 2 evaluated from 1 to 3. So we plug in the upper limit and then we subtract when we plug in the lower limit. So this becomes 2 times 3 cubed over 3 plus 3 times 3 squared over 2. And then we subtract from that when we plug in the lower limit, that it would be 1. So when we plug in 1 here, we get 1 cubed, simply 2 thirds. We plug in 1 here, which is 1 squared, simply 3 halves. So we have subtract 2 thirds and 3 halves. All right, so simplifying that a little bit, the 3 will cancel out one of these 3s. So that will give us uh, 3 squared, which is 18. Oh, wait a minute. Yes, that is right. So that would be, uh, start over again. So 3 cubed will be 27 divided by 3, which is 9. 9 times 2 is 18. Plus, here we get 3 squared, which is 9 times 3, which is 27 divided by 2. And then from that, we subtract 2 thirds, and we subtract 3 halves. Okay, simplifying this, notice we have 27 divided by 2 minus 3, that's 24 divided by 2. So this is 18 plus 24 divided by 2 minus 2 thirds. And of course, 24 divided by 2, that's 12. So that gives us 18 plus 12 minus 2 thirds, which is equal to 30 minus 2 thirds, which is equal to 29 and a third. Of course, the units of that would be Newton meters or joules. So the amount of work done by that force, moving from x equals 1 to x equals 3, the function of the force defined by this gives us work done of 29 and a third joules. And that's how it's done. Wow, that was easy. Yeah, mathematicians sometimes come in handy. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.